Time to make the donuts. Hey, what's up, Duff here. Happy Saturday. We can just uh, throw this in recycling. There we go. Be a good responsible homeowner. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update on my Tesla situation. Uh, last time I left you, I showed you the video of uh, me backing up and uh, having an impact with a woman driving a SUV, or I'm sorry, a minivan, uh, hit and slid along the back of her vehicle. So, um, since I've talked to you last, is that? Since I've talked to you last, I've been in contact with my insurance company. I um, have been in contact with a body shop. I got an estimate for the repair. And one thing that, that this whole incident has uh, pointed out to me, beside the fact that it's ridiculous that Tesla doesn't have rear crossing traffic uh, warning system, is when you look at the way that this is designed, the Model Y in the back, there is basically no way to hit this bumper without damaging your trunk lid. It's flush with your bumper. Uh, I guess aesthetically it looks cool, but functionally it basically makes it impossible to get an impact on your bumper without damaging your deck lid. It's kind of dumb, right? Um, at least I think it is. And it's funny, since, since this has happened, I've seen two other Model Ys with uh, similar damage on their deck lid. I think it happens all the time. Um, I went on to eBay for the hell of it and I looked for uh, Model Y deck lids. There was about uh, 10 of them, used ones, that I guess were uh, pulled from damaged cars. And again, they all looked like similar damage to this. Uh, you know, took a tap on the bumper, screws up the deck lid. Very, very annoying. So anyways, I did get an estimate on the, on the car. I wrote in my blog the other day, I, I thought, eh, how much, how, much, how much could this possibly cost? My guess was about $3,500. And surprisingly, that guess was, was right on target. I had an um, adjuster from Nationwide come out, look at the car. Um, what he is recommending is a replacement of the deck lid. They will move the glass from uh, this one to a new deck lid, new emblems, uh, repairing the bumper damage, which is pretty minor, and also replacing this skirt. There is a or this trim piece, there is like some scuffing on here. Minor scuffing, but since it's a new car, they're going to replace that as well. Got the estimate uh, yesterday. No, Thursday, I'm sorry. I got the estimate Thursday. The estimate is $3,555.61. So yeah, real close to uh, what I guessed, um, which I just thought was funny. So I contacted the recommended body shop that is Tesla authorized. They're in Estero, I believe, around here. And I said, and my, my adjuster directed me to do so. They said, hey, you might be able to just send them this estimate and they can just schedule you without even having to go in to look at it. And I contacted them and said, hey, can I just send you this estimate without you guys looking at it? Uh, no, no, I, we have to schedule to look at it and then we have to schedule to do the work. I said, okay, well, how long do you think it would take to Get this, uh, get this taken care of. Uh, right now with Teslas, we are booking into November. November. What's November? S is it seven months? Six months, seven months? Yeah, six, seven months to get the car repaired. It's kind of crazy. Um, I'm going to see if I have any other options available to get it done sooner, because that just seems insane to me especially because it's such a straightforward repair. You know, it, you know, from a body shop standpoint, replacing the deck lid and, and the other couple uh, minor things, is, it's a very easy repair from a body shop perspective. But man, oh man, that's just, that's terrible, guys. Terrible, terrible turnaround time. So really, that's it. That's where I'm at. I, I took goo gone and I cleaned up the area as much as I could. I might be able to get a little bit more of the junk off, but it's, you know, unless you're looking for it, it's not horrible. It doesn't jump out at you. But I guess I'm just gonna be in a holding pattern, see if I can get someone that can do it quicker. And uh, hopefully that estimate stays. I have a $500 deductible on my insurance policy, so it should only uh, cost me $500 out of pocket. Oh, one other thing, this was interesting. 
like I said, I had the video from the rear camera of the vehicle showing uh, how things went down, how the, I started to back out and the woman was not to me yet. I, I was clearly backing out uh, before she got to me and she continued to come towards me. And my, um, the rep I talked to from the insurance company said, based on that video that I sent them, they actually are going to go after that woman's insurance company and try to get them to pay for it. Because I think in that scenario, it actually shifts the blame to her, which I mean, I was fine with a 50-50 split, but okay, if they, if they were going to get her company to pay for it, that's fine with me as well. That might actually have a positive impact on my, uh, my premiums going forward if the blame is not on me. Although I, I, I do still accept blame, my part of the blame for the accident. But clearly, if either one of us would have reacted to what was going on, it could have been avoided. Or if I had rear cross-traffic uh, warning system on the Tesla, it could have been avoided as well. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's the update. Hope you have a great weekend. Until next time, Duff Man out.